Didn't freeze last night, but sure got cool. You can tell by the dew on the windows of the vehicles. Cool, cool, cool. Carrie just sent me a message saying that the wax auger, like the auger from the extractor into the mixing tank, is not moving. So that's a warning shot to get this honey out of the comb. Honey's starting to set itself up. We have the honey house set at 30 degrees just to help keep everything warm and just to slow down the granulation. But as we drift further and further and just push this work further back, we are going to start running into granulation issues if we don't hurry the hill up. So I'm just going down to free up the auger and we are spending the next couple days and we're going to pull this honey out of the comb and making this job priority. So Kerry has everything pretty much running except for the auger and it definitely is a granulation issue. So what we're going to do is all we can do is just mix it up, get it freed up, mixed up, and then once we get some of this warm honey coming through, it'll just free up and we'll push it through. And the only thing it can do is uh, separate and we'll get it into the tank. We did a test run on the pumps and everything is moving. A little bit stiff. Did a test run on the spinner pumps. It's a little bit stiff, but it's moving. And we have a little bit of honey in the tank here. It's an insulated tank, so it stays nice and warm. Just make sure what we have left in there runs out. And that's liquid, so we're good there. So just a little bit of a slow start. Just gonna free things up. It's going to maybe plug up the spinner. So we'll have to make sure that runs freely as we begin to pump the honey through. And we'll just see what we can do here. Definitely telling us to hurry up. There she goes. Look at that. It's like butter. Hey, hey, hey. How's that supposed to separate? All we can do is just start pumping some honey through there, get it freed up, mixed up, and uh, hopefully it just flows through the spinner as it's supposed to. We'll run it a little slower through as we go, have the temperature up a little bit, so we'll have to make sure that honey goes through nice and warm. Time to be done. This was just left for two days. Change of plans now. The extractor, it's not pumping the honey from the extractor because it is solid. So, change of plans, we are gonna scoop this into a barrel. and just avoid any type of trouble. It's gonna cost a little bit of work for us right now. But we are gonna shovel that into a barrel and then not have to try to deal with that granulated honey through the spinner because the spinner does not handle granulation very well. I'm looking at the, the line and it's not granulated liquid so that's a good thing but that is 
that is. Here's a shot of some granulation. There is canola honey. So this is probably an older frame. You can see the sunflower honey mixed in between. Here's a frame behind it. That is all second pull honey. This must have got mixed into the from the first pull. It got mixed, mixed. This side of the frame is completely clear, but this side had some residual canola honey in it. You can see it hardened right up. This is what whips our day. This is why we put so much attention to getting this honey out of the comb. Like right now was because when it hardens up like this, we can't extract it. So we'll probably feed that back to the bees. We'll just kind of we have we're not taking much of it. For some reason, that frame probably got sorted from first pull into second pull, and now we're in September. And there you go. That's why we like to when we pull our honey, we make the round, we pull it all. We extract all and then when we come back the second round we know everything's been pulled out sometimes when we have to sort brood back down into the hives and we take that first pull honey put it back down in for that second pull this is what happens from time to time is that canola honey gets left a little bit too long and hardens up consequence but it's not punishing us too much because everything's fairly liquid the old saying, dilution is the solution, uh, applies to this case also. We have run two or three extractor loads through now, and it's nicely diluting the honey, that granulated honey, so it allows things to flow a little freer. The pump, the pump has just come on, and we're pushing the honey. We're kind of moving things through very slowly using the heat exchangers. The honey's coming in about 97 degrees. And it's flowing nice and free. So it's breaking up that granulation. When we first, when it first dropped into the spinner, the thing started to shake because of the wax. We hadn't cleaned the wax out of the spinner since Friday either, so everything was just kind of a little bit stiff. But after it shook for a little bit, it freed itself up actually cutting some wax. So it looks like it's separating like it's supposed to. That's good. Maybe I'll open it up just a bit. And it's running through the baffles like it's supposed to. a little bit thick but I want to show you most of the frames are extracting masterfully everything is pulling out everything here things coming out uh, here's a frame of granulation you can see how the honey's just kind of stuck to the side walls. This frame is extracted fairly well, considering that it's granulated. It's really hard to pull out of the frame. So this one, this is a fairly heavy frame. That we'll put this back on the colony next year and the bees will reprocess that. But you know, we're not making money on this this year. We're it's being left in the frame and not in the barrel. So for the most part, yeah, there she is, she's cutting. So There's pretty thick honey going in. Burning through the baffles as it's supposed to. So that's good, we want that free flow down. And she's already cutting wax, nice and dry. So it looks like we got her freed up. Dilution is a solution, except it isn't totally the solution. Now that we've got all this granulated honey mixed, totally mixed through, 
it's going to set this honey up like now. So as it pumps into our tank and just kind of sits here, one thing about this tank is it's insulated to the warm honey coming in over 90 degrees. It's going to, you know, it's not going to set up too quick, but because of that granulation is mixed in there, she's going to set up a lot quicker. So we're going to have to empty this tank right out at the end of the day, which kind of leaves us with absolutely no leeway. Everything's flowing all nice and freely. But it leaves us no leeway, so we have to uh, make pretty quick work of this. We have today and part of tomorrow to pull this honey out, so we're in pretty good shape. Just we gotta get snapping. This granulation has put a lot of stress on this auger. Just a lot heavier honey. So it snapped our chain. So I'm looking at some chain links here that just kind of pulled apart. Pretty easy fix, just put new chain links in. This gearbox is super hot. Like there's a lot of stress on that motor, on that gearbox, on that chain. So now that we have things freed up, it'll uh, it'll be a lot easier to run. Well, that's the problem with the granul granulation. It just everything's so heavy now and everything's so thick that it, you know, snap, break, fix, and now we can keep going. Sunflower honey doesn't granulate the same as canola, which still sets itself up. 